Hey guys, welcome back to another mod review on this channel. Today I'm going to show you the Magitech Max mod for Minecraft version 1.19 Forge and Fabric. This mod adds three different controllable Max, which have various abilities, as well as items to craft and power them. Let's start by taking a look at the different Max. There is the Magitech Armor, Proto Armor and Tunnel Armor. The Magitech Armor is powered by burnable fuel and can shoot a laser beam which creates fire and damages mobs. The Proto Armor is powered by electricity. If you are not using the Tech Reborn mod, the energy is unlimited. You can use this armor to shoot a laser beam which creates ice out of water blocks, so you can cross for example rivers using the armor. The Tunnel Armor is powered by burnable fuel as well and can be used to dig tunnels really quickly. These tunnels are 3x3 three three blocks wide and the animation of the mech while digging looks really amazing. The mechs can jump only one block high and you can activate the beam or drill by pressing V. Of course you can change the key in the controls. You can restore your mech and carry it around if you hit it with a wrench. To power the mechs you need to open their interface by sneaking and right clicking on them. The slot on the far right is for the beam. Use a blaze rod for a fire beam or a snowball for an ice beam. In the slot next to that you have to add magicite. And finally, for the tunnel armor and magitech armor, you need to add in the slot on the left for example coal. So how can you craft a max? To craft a magitech armor, first you need to craft a magitech armor chassis, two magitech armor arms, two magitech armor legs and two magitech armor stacks. Afterwards, you can put all parts into a crafting table, as it is shown here. To craft a proto armor, you need to craft one proto armor chassis and two proto armor legs. Next, you can put them together with iron blocks, iron bars, and nether quartz. To craft a tunnel armor, you need to craft six iron gears first. Then, you need to craft two tunnel armor wheels using the iron gears, two tunnel armor arms, two tunnel armor stacks, and a tunnel armor chassis. Afterwards, you can put them all together. You can now spawn your max simply by right clicking. Insert all the necessary items to power them and start using them. This covers about all the information about the mod. I personally like this mod because it fits quite well into vanilla Minecraft and the machines look pretty cool. Still, I think the functionality of the max, for example the beams, to create ice could be improved a bit, because they don't always work perfectly. But if you are searching for a relatively simple machine mod that doesn't overwhelm you with endless features and crafting recipes, this might be worth a try. Anyways, thanks for watching, if you don't want to miss any further reviews, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.